Welcome to another Soft Learning Bread Listens. Uh, today I have George Storm. I already had George before in a webinar about sales in a recession, and he's uh, very knowledgeable about sales and sales training and sales enablement. So, George, I'm super happy to have you here, and please introduce yourself. Do you, so, am I. so am I glad, glad to be here. I've been looking forward to this and I have to say also great content so far Thank uh, you. in this in this format uh, to introduce myself. Right. So my name is George. I've been in sales for, I don't know, 20, 21 years. Uh, I have uh, sold anything from discount coupons for restaurants to credit cards to real estate to uh, software, IT projects, consultancy. And the last few years, I am in um, uh, SaaS, software as a service, uh, enterprise sales. Like all of us, I would say. <laughs> Sorry, what? Like all of us, we are all in SaaS. <laughs> yes, so we're we, exactly. So, so I, I went into SaaS in 2015. I'm still there. I'm working with Scribe, uh, and now as VP Sales Enablement, uh, responsible for training the revenue teams. Uh, Perfect. That's why you're here. <laughs> exactly. 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 Perfect. Before we go and talk about revenue enablement, um, tell us a fun fact about yourself. Fun fact about myself: uh, I used to be I used to be a musician for quite a while. Bass vocals for uh, a variety of bands. Uh, I did quite a few gigs uh, when I was younger. Nice. I also did two two stand up comedy stints. Oh, nice! In which language? There was there was apparently a theme of being on in front of people and 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 doing stuff, performance stuff from. Uh, I, I can relate. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's that's what I would say. One thing that is. Um, and, and which 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 language did you do the stand up comedy? Uh, I did one in Greek because I'm Greek originally, and I did one in English too. But it's nice, uh, nice. Yeah, that's well, that's a while ago. But it's something that I would like to do again, actually. It's yeah, it's something that I want. I did once, just once, um, mm -hmm. in in English. Uh, it went well. Uh, but you know, I have no background on it, and I would really no, like to take that. a course on on like like a creative writing, but like humor writing. Because that's something yeah. on my bucket list for my private time, which is very little. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah. what are you snobby about? Oof, um, <laughs> Ooh, many things. Yeah, I see. no, I like, so the first thing, the first thing that comes to mind is golf. Okay. Uh, yeah, really. It, it's, uh, I've been into sales cycles for so long. So, so the, 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 the private clubs and the, and the days in the, in the, uh, in the course court, whatever. Uh, and all the, all the elbow rubbing and the, and the stuff like that from the eighties, I'm not super fond of um and the exclusivity of it and, and and stuff like that it's it's not and also people calling it a sport anyway it, it, it's uh, it's my father would disagree with you he's a oh, boy i know i know i oh, i know i was half, i absolutely I have, I don't know how hate many thousands it. connections i think i'm gonna get message hate messages after that i'm pretty sure <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Um, I don't. I don't support, uh, you know, cancel culture, and I think we have <laughs> a place to share our yes. opinions. So, uh, and I love to remind my father how boring golf is. <laughs> you're a bit, bit right, but it is. It is. It is, it so is boring. boring. It is it's boring. the most boring it's, thing. I've, I've played as well, but it is. It is. Like, Look, I think it's, it's super useful though. If as you... a networking tool. No, 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 no. If you so... if you re... if you have an insomnia, you know, and you want to go back to sleep. Okay, if you want to, <laughs> you mean watching it? Yes, watching. Oh it. my god, no! The, the, this is this is this. I would rather watch paint dry. Like this is <laughs> this is. That, or the okay, washing so machine going with the clothes. <laughs> oh, but but it's seriously, it would be so much more interesting. I agree. Uh, to do I that. agree. I agree. I um, agree. <laughs> what else? Oh, there is. I have another. And I, All I have, right, go for it. This is not. This is not snobby. This is a pet peeve. So it, I it, love it, pet it's, peeves. It's it's sports. It's sports analogies in in sales training. <laughs> so if I if I sit to one more session quoting I don't know the Eagles football coach from like 1992 or or Al Pacino from ever any given Sunday like one more time in my life. I, I don't know. I will. I will just grab my things and go. Like this is this is. <laughs> I love that. We we sales has nothing to do, guys. Seriously, now I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> we're we're not playing a sport. We're not 
athletes. We're not in. We're not in basketball. We're not. We're not doing any of these things. We're in a profession, guiding people through solutions. Professional athletes, and they how they get lot. motivated on the on the football field, have nothing to do with how we work. Like we really need to stop with this. How <laughs> the people are looking away completely. The two people that are sports fans that are vaguely paying attention to you, although they've seen the analogy and done it a thousand times, and everybody else is gone. So please stop. Like, for But the I, love of God, please what, stop. Wouldn't you, know. you say that's more like in the US that they do that? I see less. Uh, oh, no, I wish. I wish. They yeah? Did. Okay. I'm that was the impression the I last... had. Hmm. Sorry? I had the impression it was more in the US and less in Europe, but also as I'm not a sports person, I think I just <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we do attention. we do in Europe too. <laughs> oh, we, we it's everywhere. And also also what, what happens in the US happens everywhere. So mm. everything mm. that has to do with um uh famous quotes and, 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 and things like that, the, the formats, the old formats of training from the 80s, which was more a pep talk than an actual training. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All of these still are very much alive. I don't That's know true. why. Uh, but every, every, like, yeah, so, so, like, going into a sales room uh, with people that sell, like, complex, complex uh, IT solutions, uh, very sophisticated stuff, it's like, yeah, so, come around, and then let's, let's shout together, because we can close the month, like, this is, it's almost yeah, a cult I, I thing, the words. It's, it it's reminds really, me really. of cults, <laughs> so, Sorry? It's more like a cult, you know. Like yeah, it, you... but it, but but sports. Let don't let's let's not get started. But sports culture is very much equivalent to cult. So it, <laughs> it, it, let's not get there. But let's let's keep it out of sports analogies, out of sales training. If you Fair want enough. to use it in your sales rooms, fine. As long as I'm not in there, but uh, <laughs> it, 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 not in training. We're not training to shoot hoops. It's, it's agree. Agree. Nothing. Um, so I go, I know you're very good at training, but what are you terrible at? What I'm terrible at, uh, I don't know, keeping, keeping short sentences as you noticed just before. <laughs> um, so uh, preparations, uh, usually is not my strongest suit administration, um, keeping schedule, uh, I don't know anything, anything that has to do with, I, I, I work with flow a lot. So anything that has to do with administration, anything would go under the, the sort of, uh, you know, the color wheel, anything that will go under the uh, blue uh, side of things, I'm, I'm, I'm not great yeah, at. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I have structures admin. in place to help me nowadays, but it's... it's you you, uh, you yeah. have to, right? Because I'm also like, I because I, I really don't want to deal with this sort of stuff, I try to use technology and tools to do that job for me, you know, yeah. like as much as I can. So I yeah can totally re relate. That's yeah. not. And the, the, you know what the fun thing is? Most salespeople are exactly like you and me, and all managers are out there, even though they are like that themselves. When it comes to CRM hygiene and 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 uh, data accuracy, they seem to completely forget that everybody hates that too. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. Quite interesting. yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. Good, and I think that's a great way to go to the second part of this episode, which is. Uh, sales training mistakes and or in this case Bradley yes. sins what would be the first one that you'd like to talk about uh the first one uh, which is to, so the first one for me is the the in everything I've seen is the most common one so we do in all companies that I've ever seen we always do uh generic training we yeah. We don't do. We don't separate people in uh, in groups. We don't separate by competence. We don't separate by experience. We don't separate by how people digest information. Yeah. Uh, we completely disregard any pedagogical principles where you would teach people anything else because, and that will go throughout all my answers. We treat sales training more as a pep talk or something else than an actual training where you're supposed to learn things. Um, yeah. So we do generic training. We say we, we put everybody in the room because we want the vibe, whatever that means, to come out of and the energy to come out of the sales room for the next two hours, then it goes away. Um, so we do generic, we do generic training. So we will put 
uh, an SDR in the room with the senior account executive. We will train them on the same principles. And then we will look at the survey in the end of the month and we'll say, why don't we have any engagement in this? Yeah. Because either we're teaching people way above their level or we're, uh, and above their level, I don't mean intellectually, I mean where they are in their career, <clears throat> or we teach people stuff that they've heard a thousand times or they're already practicing, so they disengage completely. Yeah. Yeah, right. Absolutely. So we we have um, we have a, a tendency to to group people up, and that also comes from uh, management's so middle management's inability to grade, so to be yeah. close enough to sales to understand where people are, to have education pillars and understand so which areas do we need to improve, and then train on those. Uh, instead, we just do generic vanilla. Yeah off the shelf uh, yeah. training. Yeah, I see that a lot as well. Yeah, absolutely. What would be the second one? The second one is that, uh, and, and I will try to, to combine two topics now, but the second one is that we talk a lot about platitudes. We talk about, we, we use a lot of big words that mean nothing. So, so we say to people, so be curious, be yourself, be authentic. Yeah. Uh, uh, but take control of yourself. I'm not sure if I'll be myself completely on social media if, if I was still my active LinkedIn account. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, we, 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 we say, and if you see, it's not only, it's not, a, to be honest, it's not only sales training. You talk, mention LinkedIn now. All the top top five, top 10, top seven, whatever list. Uh, it, it, it's, it's words and sentences that actually mean, mean nothing. nothing. Oh, I hate that. They mean uh, nothing to people. Be yeah. bold. What does that mean, man? What does it mean? What does bold, it mean? Break bold it down for me is a formatting on word, you know? <laughs> it's it's catchphrases that somebody had in, 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 in some, they read in some book. I have a segment up there, all of these sales yeah. books, right? So so sales books, we, we're, we're in 2023 and we're qu quoting Dale Carnegie from the, I don't know, 1820s i know it's please in the comments i know it, it's not that period i'm trying to exactly <laughs> um but but we're we're uh and again it has to do with the tailoring that i talked about but it also has to do with how how bad sales training on an average is yeah. we're talking about concepts even concepts that are good in nature as be curious so ask questions okay man but what type of questions does the questions variate from industry to industry? Does they variate from stakeholder to stakeholder? How do I understand what type Absolutely. of persona I'm, I'm interfacing? What should I be doing? And we we go into training with with big words that uh, I don't know either worked for us in in some place in time or they haven't worked at all, but we found them. But we still do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it, because we see motivational speakers, right? Again, I think training um, uh, they, they is, trigger is me. Called, I think um, I think I'm very snobby about motivational speakers. Yeah, but but that's the but that's the point. That's the point. But, yeah. they, but, but we're not trying to to teach people anything. Yeah, because exactly. That's people... why I bought, that's why I find it a waste of time. Like, tell me something I can apply. Otherwise, bye bye. Yeah, but but I can apply now. I don't want to go exactly. home and 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 find the truth in me like I consult in a Tibetan monk. I want to I want to have I'm too shallow apply. for that. <laughs> no, but it, but it, but salespeople, you know like everyone is do you know like go to any sales room now and announce we're gonna have sales training next week. The first thing that you're gonna hear nine out of ten people is uh you know yeah. why? Because they're going to sit in a room, it's a waste of time. hearing things that they heard three thousand times before. If they're going to ask, and this also has to do with the expertise of the people that you guys are bringing in, because you're bringing people that are 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 in in fancy suits that are that talk good to you or to your colleagues or to management. They have no sales no sales room experience. They haven't sold anything in their lives, but they're good speakers. Yeah. Right, they have no experience of what your teams are actually doing, and what you're asking them to do is go into a room, build rapport with people that already don't trust them, because they will look at the resume and say, "Okay, so you've never done what I do, but you're here to teach me how." And then you go into this amazing platitudes, and this is also because this will go to LinkedIn. This is for all you influencers too. Top ten lists of here is how to increase your sales by 120 percent. 
Um, be curious. Uh, be be yourself. Exactly. Thank you, Instagram quote. Like yeah, I don't. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> So specifics, guys, specifics, specifics, exactly yeah, what how to, to do, do one, two, step three, by step, four. how yeah, to yeah. do, how to do tomorrow. Yeah, and yeah. to do that, you need to understand how people work today, which is yeah. work that you need to put in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Last but not least, what's your third dreadly sin in sales training? Last but not least has to do, we're not training culture. We're not talking about culture. We're talking about applications of skills, if we're lucky. <laughs> we're not yeah. talking about uh, how sales, how a sales culture would work in an organization. What made people successful before? What yeah. makes people, our salespeople, wake up in the morning and say, "Shit, I want to go to work tomorrow." Feel and motivated, not motivated by by uh, I don't know uh, dopamine and whistles Do in the dopamine sales and adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> but mo motivated in sitting in the weekend and, and saying that I, oh, I want to, I get to go to work tomorrow because I feel yeah. I'm contributing something. I feel I'm doing something important. I feel yeah. I belong to to an organization or a team or a or a or a project that uh, that does something that is important to me, yeah, or yeah. I feel that I am developing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as important. a person, and this is this is also now I'm cheating. I will do the fourth in, inside the third, but <laughs> also we're not working with culture, and we're really not working with consistency. Yeah. And if you're not working with training consistently within your teams, because everybody uses the same the same uh, analogy, so we're doing well, we don't need to train. We're doing super poorly, we don't have time to train. We need to continue doing badly faster right yes. so it's never a good time oh my god i love that i'm gonna put that that quote <laughs> when i launch this episode i love that yes so it's absolutely. never it's never a good time to train and if we never. train we train ad hoc we train for way too little we train with no plan uh, and we train to sort of put uh, bandages on 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 uh, wounds or right? even worse to tick a checkbox it's, you know oh, like yeah, that's okay. yeah so the board that's... told us we need to have sales training so, exactly. so here is a dude from linkedin talk. yes we have we have we have <clears> on the site on our job position that we offer training to our employees so let's do that otherwise they call yeah. us liars yeah you know, Once yeah, a yeah. year from 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 i don't know an influencer in 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 instagram like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. and it's impossible because what what we fail to understand is that in order for anyone to feel invested in training people need to feel that you're investing in them in their career not only their current career with your company but their career development yeah. both within and after yeah. especially when people that are working with younger uh, younger younger people that are not completely white like myself yeah. uh feeling that your invest your people are investing in training and improving um the career development the career trajectory of their teams yes. so when people feel that you're genuinely investing in them that there is consistency there is a plan there is actual progress uh being able to show results uh, uh, then people will be a lot more engaged yeah uh, because what we usually do and i've seen that in so many companies People don't blame the training re re regimen. They blame the engagement that the teams have, not understanding the correlation. Also, maybe the training is poor. That's yeah. why no one wants to engage with it. Is that, no, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, and yeah, and salespeople, as you mentioned at the beginning, already they're already tired of bad training, so they already have yes. a bad expectation. And then if you meet their bad expectation and you're just reinforcing the fact that, oh, I was right, this is a waste of time. Yeah, and, and it, usually, yeah. and I've been in so many of those, Mafalda, you know within the first 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Uh, immediately. You know in the first question you're going to ask your trainer, you know if they if they know what they're talking about or not. And yeah. after that, this just goes down. Yeah, absolutely. Great. George, thank you so much for you. sharing your uh, dread listens with us and uh, your knowledge and your hate about sports metaphors with sales. Um, I much. 
I do I do relate a bit to that, but I think your uh, your algorithm feeds you more. Maybe I think the algorithm is feeding your pet peeve more than mine, but I'll be it's all on the, the algorithm in sales rooms. I, I wish it was only online. I, I wish I wish it was only online. These <laughs> okay. are these are sales rooms. I've done I've done consultancy too before before my current uh, position. I've seen a lot of companies uh, and a lot of sales literature. There is at least one. I'm, I'm, okay, so this is a challenge. Anyone that watches this in the in the current company or in, in the in the your immediate mental proximity, do you have at least one code that comes from a, from a, from a sports metaphor or a coach or a, or a, I don't know Michael Jordan whatever whatever have you? Uh, there is at least one. Let's do let's do the quote the quote challenge. Let's see where it takes us. Amazing. Thank you so much, George, and uh, I'll see you on LinkedIn. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.